Hey mamas, um, after watching this video, you will know exactly how to start breastfeeding after bottle feeding. So I'm Lacey, your lactation counselor, and in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way on how to breastfeed after you have been bottle feeding. I know it can be really hard to make the switch, but with a little bit of preparation and patience, you can totally do this. So let's get right into it. So tips on getting started. So make sure you build your breast milk supply. So if you have been using um, formula instead of breast milk in the bottles, you will definitely need to focus on boosting your supply and getting that demand back up. And you can do that by regular pumping. You could use a, a double electric medical grade pump would be really great. And you can do that every time after you breastfeed and you can even do it at night, just getting that extra demand. And there is like a whole blog post I have on relactating. If that's your goal, I can put that in the description below. Also, make sure you stay calm. This is going to be a huge uh, kind of a process. And just be kind to yourself and to your baby. They are used to one thing and then changing completely how they eat is going to be a challenge for both of you. So just stay calm and give your guys, give your both self some grace. And also make sure to follow the baby's cues. If they're feeling stressed, then that's okay. Just take a break and try again. It's totally okay. So let's talk about how to get your baby back to the breast. So it's okay if they have not wanted to latch and you really want to get them latched. Um, first, I would say do a lot of skin on skin. That is the most important thing. You want them to always be baby wearing, keeping them on your chest as much as possible, getting them used to their, that'll boost your oxytocin levels, which will also boost your milk supply. And it will really associate that skin on skin feeling with breastfeeding and the warm, relaxing place. This is now where they're used to being held. They will feel comfortable with it and they'll be much more comfortable with wanting to eat where they're used to and feeling comfortable. Another thing you can do is try a new breastfeeding position. So um, if you're normally trying to breastfeed your baby in one position and maybe it's not working, that's fine. Try a different one. There's so many positions out there you can try. Um, and also if you're used to bottle feeding in one position, maybe it'll be helpful to breastfeed in that position or maybe the baby's like, wait, this is supposed to be a bottle. So you can also do the opposite if that's not working. Try a different position. So you new cradle, cross cradle, football hold, laid back position, sideline position. There's really so many options to see what is working best for your body and your baby. Another thing you want to be focusing on is avoiding the pacifier. So they are so used to having that hard texture. So let's think about when you're used to either you prefer oatmeal or granola. There are two different textures, right? It's more of a texture thing. And if your baby is used to the hard granola and you're trying to put uh, the soft oatmeal in their mouth, they're going to be like, what is this mom? No, thank you. So it's just going to take some getting used to, but reinforcing that crunchy granola or the pacifier, it's going to make it harder for you to make that transition. And they're going to be used to sucking on the pacifier rather than you, which you want to have it on you to increase that milk supply as well. You can also try um, using your finger. So you can put your pinky, a clean pinky finger into their mouth and that will get them used to skin instead of the pacifier. And if they are just needing a break from nursing or if um, for whatever reason they just want that comfort, you can always try that. Um, another thing is always introduce, you can do a bottle and then you can switch when they're calmer and they're more full, you can switch to breastfeeding and then you can slowly phase out that bottle or you can always try to breastfeed first, and then you can also top off with the ball afterwards. And then slowly as you're getting your baby's getting used to breastfeeding, then start avoiding using the bottle for some feeds, and then eventually you can phase out all of the feeds. When you are using your bottle, you want to do something called pace bottle feeding. So pace bottle feeding is Basically, you want to make sure you're pacing the feed. So when you traditionally hold a baby bottle, it's going to be 
facing down towards the baby. Your baby's laying down and that gravity is going down, helping it constantly be going at the same flow. And you do not want that because when breastfeeding, it, we don't constantly have a flow of milk coming out. It'll have a lot in the beginning and then it slows down to being very little and then you get a lot again when you have another letdown. So focus on having it similar you can do that by having a slow flow nipple on your bottles. And you can also have not have gravity work against you. So have your bottle being upright or having it horizontal to the ground. And that'll help pacing the bottle. You can also tilt it down so that you're not getting any milk or any formula at that time. So they're not getting frustrated that they're not getting this constant flow or get them used to not having a constant flow of milk. I did a combination of breastfeeding and bottle feeding with my second baby, and that is a huge mistake I did because my baby was just having a very hard time breastfeeding, and the second that letdown stopped, he would be so frustrated and start screaming and bite me, and it was just not a fun experience, and if I knew to pace the bottle feeds, then it would be a different experience because he's like, what the heck, mom? Why are you not flowing like I prefer with the bottle? So we really can't keep up with the same pace as a bottle. So just keep that in mind and have it try to mimic breastfeeding as much as you can. Now, also with the bottles, you want to make sure you have one that's similar to a breast and then a bottle, right? And so there's some really great bottles out there that are very similar to the breast, right? I love the, um, I think it's called the Tom Toms. I had those and I really liked them. They're very wide and the nipple is very close to a nipple. So you want to have something like that. So it's not such a huge transition when you are trying to go back and forth or you're trying to completely take off of the bottle. So um, that will really help, especially if you have one that's very narrow and just like a traditional old school bottle, which you think it's going to be the exact opposite of what your body looks like and body feels like. So you want to have something that's as close to breast as possible. I mean, a very soft silicone feel. Some of them even have like a skin tone to it. So there are so many options there. Another thing is what you can do to help the transition is using a nipple shield. And this will help transition if your baby's like we're having a really hard time transitioning to the skin, you can use a nipple shield and that will feel more like a bottle to them. And so that'd be a great transition. I wouldn't recommend using this forever because it's not the greatest to transition, the, to, the most efficient way to, tra to transition milk, but it is a great way to get things going if you're having a hard time or if your baby's having a hard time with latching. It's very similar to that bottle feel, and then it will help them, and then eventually you just take it out, and it'll be, so again, you phase that out, whether it's like halfway through the feed or just some feeds, and that would be a great way to transition. If your baby is hesitant at all on latching, and they're just not wanting to latch, and they're like, what is this, mom? Um, try doing it with a sleepy baby. They'll be more willing to latch on when they're tired and sleepy. So you can also initiate your letdown first when you're about to nurse them. And so you can either use a pump to get things started. I like to use the Haka that can get things started. That's a manual silicone pump. You can also use hand expression and that'll help get things started. You can also use warm compress and to help get their milk flowing and more relaxed. And then when the baby is latching, you can start using like um, massaging to help work the milk flow out. And that'll help them be a bit more patient with you if you're having a hard time with that because they're getting more milk flow. Babies do not want to work hard to get their food. So if they're so used to a bottle that is constantly flowing and all of a sudden they have to work when they're breastfeeding, Let's try to bridge that gap as much as we can. So if you use that, if you're trying to manually express while they're breastfeeding, it's less work for them, which is great. Eventually, they'll be way more efficient at breastfeeding and you won't have to do it. But in the beginning, if you're just trying to get over that hump and they're like, mom, I don't want to do all this work, then go ahead and just try that in the beginning. 
You can also use a quiet, dark room. That would be really helpful because there won't be any things to distract your baby. And that obviously depends on the age of your baby. Is your baby going to be four months and up? You'll notice that they're a bit more alert and aware of things and they'll start looking around and any kind of distraction can be just frustrating for you both. So go ahead and just go in a quiet dark room when you can and try to nurse those times where you can just get a little more quiet time and they're tired, maybe even just before they go for a nap and just go in that quiet room and try to initiate nursing first. So, and then the last thing I would say is if they're hesitant on putting latching on at all, Try rocking them and doing some gentle movement side to side. You can always pat their back. Um, this will help them really relax. And so if they're just being hesitant, you're like, what are you trying to pull on me? Then go ahead. Just try to relax them more and be like, it's okay. Just talking to them. You know, we're just going to nurse this time and walking them through the steps. And they'll be more willing to work with you if they're feeling more reassured and calmed by you because this is something new for them as it is for you and it will just take time. So guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, and let me know if you guys have tried any of these in the comments below. And if you guys have any other tips, like if you tried to switch over back to breastfeeding after bottle feeding, how was that experience for you? And share it with some other mamas here that are trying to get some advice. I would love that. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.